So in this video, I'm going to be taking you through a tour of Stevens and giving you a glimpse of the life here. We are also going to be talking to a lot of students so that you get a real and authentic account of how actually it is to study in this university. And I hope this helps you in making the right choice in choosing your university in the US. And the main entrance. So this is the main entrance this of Stevens, so yeah. which I think most people miss. Yeah. <laughs> because the first time when you come to Stevens, it's like the cab drivers and everyone they'll take you from this entrance, which is the main entrance, and then you can see the entire view of Stevens. This is the Stevens, and that's New York City. You can you know come here at the park, you can sit, have a coffee. Initially, actually, just Stevens was this much, and then they've started expanding yeah. more. So, so kept expanding and it's expanding reached. so you'll see the pattern of buildings as well these are like coordinated and then slowly slowly you have like glass buildings and everything so as as you know as per time they've modified, modified. it now yeah, yeah so, so tell me one unique thing about stevens so one unique thing about stevens is you can see the entire skyline of new york city that's the best part of stevens you know uh, so if you want to study if you want to if you have an assignment in there you can you know grab a cup of coffee you can you know go there, there are a bunch of benches over there and then you know you can see the entire view of the city, you can do an assignment, you know, listen to some good music and you, know, you can go from there. That's the best part of Stevens, the most unique part. Do you guys actually buy textbooks? No. no we got it from <laughs> India. Yeah. It's very expensive. Actually no. textbooks here are so expensive. expensive. I'd rather not. Like well, I'm online. Suggestion would be like uh, buying it from Dollar Tree. You don't really need textbooks as well. Like, yeah. if you reach out to your professors, they'll send you material. PDFs. PDF, PDFs, and yeah. I think they are sufficient. Like, hmm. their teaching and the hmm. notes that they give you. You have this app called Canvas. So, yeah. everything, like all the recorded lectures. This Canvas is, how, is a student portal, yeah. basically. That's Can an internal yeah. student yeah. Canvas portal. looks like. Okay. The subjects and all. Then you can see your grades and everything. Everything. That's Canvas. So, textbooks not required, just I Canvas is it's enough. It's not required. Canvas is enough. <laughs> and you know, if you really want to study, then you can go on Google, uh, Google Books. You can find a lot of ebooks, bunch of ebooks. I came to the university. This is the first place where I went to. Right. my ID card. So step number one, once you come here, is ID yeah. card. Submit your documents first. Uh, you need to check in with IEEE's. Then you need to come down here and get your um, duck card. card. Yeah. So the thing is, in Stevens, we are known as the ducks. Okay. So the duck is our mascot. Mascot. Antila okay. duck, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Antila the duck. Antila. 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 Antila the duck. Okay. So that's the thing. So that's so the, the ID card are called duck cards. Yeah. yeah that's, duck that's good to know. Do you have the ID? I do. Yeah. So my visa card. Oh wow. Like who's the mascot? ID card. Oh ID card. That's. Yeah. This is Steve. You are without it. So clearly you are new here. <laughs> I have that, but I like I'll have to like take it like I'll take it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> GRE, since uh, Stevens, they don't require GRE, but still, if you're giving GRE, it's a good score. So, personally, I had a good score of 324 uh, GRE score. That was my GRE score. And uh, due to that, I got a good scholarship of 12,000 students. Like he said, he's a friend, uh, your friend. Yeah, he got a scholarship of 12,000 yeah. for uh, the certification, right? Yeah. So, you can do certain courses to get scholarship. You can, you know, uh, get a good GRE score, maybe good TOEFL score. So that's mm -hmm. how you can get a uh, scholarship as well. Yeah. Many people are not aware about yeah. GRE. That's okay, and what thing. about uh, on campus jobs? <laughs> <laughs> so Stevens that, is hard to get an on campus job. Yeah. Yeah. Hard so, to get. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But one thing is, do not stick to work in portal. Like, just come down here personally, talk to them. That's the best way to go about Because I, again, kept applying and never heard back. But all we had to do was come here and talk. But what type of jobs are you talking about? You have dining and these mm -hmm. are like recreational jobs are like dining and you can just campus management and all of that. Mm -hmm. But again, like mostly graduate students go for TAs and RAs and all of that. But that's again in your second semester. Mm -hmm. or third. Okay. And yeah, you know about TA, right? Yes. Uh, so how is so it here? 
so uh, i was like approaching a lot of professors because a lot of my seniors who told me that you know don't so workday is a portal uh you might heard of it work there uh, there are a lot of companies they use work day you know for to list out job openings so student also has its own work day portal uh there are a lot of jobs on work day but you cannot rely on work day as one of the side so my seniors told me go in actually talk to the professors you know tell them about your course drop them thousands of emails so you know i was doing that but then i was getting no response so i quit in my first semester and then i was focusing on internship then after my internship a lot of my friends who were who just came like in spring they all got on campus jobs they all got you know tas ras here and students yeah. yeah and i was like like i was like very shocked you know how are the new students who are coming who came after me getting on campus jobs like i was so sad so you know i again started applying i again i went on work i started applying it i approached a lot of professors you know and then i was constantly emailing all of them i was going to their office hours to their to the cabin i was meeting them and then finally after you know so what you have to do is you need to send them your resume a small write up that this is your work experience these are all courses and then if you are lucky enough they'll reach out to you after a while like after one or two months and they'll tell you that i have these openings you will be a teaching assistant you have to teach students as well that's what i do uh, so i have this course called where vandita is so one of the students actually <laughs> okay. so we are uh, in data practical, practical data analytics, analytics. Yeah. so basically in stevens easier to get a scholarship than getting Yes. Are yeah. they or job? And the recreational jobs on campus are also mostly for like undergrad students. Yes. Mainly they are preferred, and for graduates, it's again TA and undergrad, yeah, yeah. which is okay. time consuming. I would say as a newcomer, as an upcoming student, that you can get on-campus jobs, but you'll have to reach out to them. Yes, like, of course. Yeah, and you need to like, be very shady. Yeah. So you need to keep nagging them, like email back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, okay. directly email them. Don't just stick to the uh, portal, mm-hmm. or the handshake portal, or uh, any workday por- portal where you can apply for job. Just uh, mail them directly before coming here. That's how you get an on-campus job as soon as right. you like land here. Bye. Thank, Thank you so, so much. Nice Thank you so much, ma'am. It was so nice having you. Yeah. Thank you so much.